Hello YouTube. Uh, in this video I'm going to be working on the rear sight for my Winchester 1895 Russian musket. And uh, <clears throat> I decided to take one apart completely just to examine uh, the condition everywhere and uh, also to learn how it's made. So uh, not too complicated of a design. I did learn an interesting thing about it um, and for this rear sight specifically I think I'm missing uh, one part and that's just my suspicion uh, basically the uh, the head of the sight was moving loosely on the ladder so I am pretty sure there should be a spring in inside the head box which is basically sitting like this <clears throat> but uh, there wasn't a spring inside which would have added friction and uh, prevented it from being loose on the ladder so <clears throat> that's the reason why I took it apart I also learned and I'll show you here that the site can be adjusted for windage because the rear side blade, the rear side blade itself, you see those screw holes? They're oblong in shape. That's so that you can actually move it left and right. It usually sits on the head. I'll show you on this side, right here in the front. So if you untighten these small screws in the front, you'll be able to move the blade left and right so it is kind of windage adjustable <clears throat> this site is the one I'm planning to use and I'll show you that on this site the head moves with a lot of resistance so there's quite a bit of resistance and I'm noticing here on the bottom that there is a leaf spring inside the head that presses up on the on the ladder so I'm going to verify it by taking this side apart and um, see what the leaf spring looks like and then I'll replace it into um, or I'll, I'll order one or make one and place it into this rear side making it complete and properly functioning so let's go ahead and, and disassemble this second rear sight. I'm going to move all these parts aside for now. I'm going to use the smallest screwdriver I have, screwdriver bit, which is right here. And I'll just disassemble the head, or what I call the head, of this sight. So we're going to turn out these screws first there is one screw there is the other now we should be able to lift the cover off so here's that cover or the top plate you already uh, I think it's pretty self-explanatory that once you remove these two screws you can remove the the actual rear blade rear side blade with the notch in it so I think I see a spring in there maybe wrong though we're going to lift the ladder yes so very simple leaf spring sits inside like that all good so I was right that rear sight the second rear sight is missing this part okay so we'll set that aside now what I'm going to do is lower the letter by the way look notice how 
non-straight on it is I'm probably gonna straighten it out since I'm already got it disassembled here's the other side as well and you can also see that it's bent here's a view down the side you can see that it's not straight so it's gonna be the same story with this letter now I could hold it with my hand but I'm going to instead use a vice grip and let's see whatever way is best yeah probably like that so I'm going to position the vice grip like so holding the blade to the base Uh, because there's spring tension and when I remove the screw here I don't want it to damage the threads of the screw as I'm pulling it through so we're going to go ahead and start turning the screw out that's the pivot screw okay. it's not holding by the threads anymore should probably just punch it out so I'm gonna turn my vice grip a little bit so I can get in with my punch get my bench block you can see this right yeah put it into the hole get that screw out completely and then I'm gonna release my vice grip and remove my bench block so here is our ladder and you can see how non unstraight this one is. You can see that it's bent in a variety of directions. At first it goes down here and then comes back up and then it straightens out. So not sure if you'll be able to see it. Pick it up. You can see it like that. So that will probably need to be straightened. Although right now it's kind of those two bands kind of compensate each other or cancel each other out rather. Okay, so <clears throat> that's that. Uh, this is all this site. Now the spring needs to come out this way towards the back or towards the front, I guess, of the rear side base so I'm going to use my brass punch and my bench block and at first because there's still some room here I can just set it down position my punch and give it a couple of taps see now the holes are not aligned anymore and now I'm going to use one of the edges of the bench block and repeat the same procedure basically but now with the spring hanging off the, the edge basically you can't see anything because I'm looking through uh, my tripod there now the spring can come out you can see that it's dovetailed and you can see a dovetail base right there for the spring so now the spring is out I can clean everything and get to everything all the edges or all the crevices rather so I'll give this a complete cleaning well, I guess we can take off the base or the front side uh, blade as well. 
Let's remove this branch block. I don't know if it's better on blue background or maybe it's better like this. So I'll keep the bench block there. Let's see if we can zoom you in a little bit more. There. Pretty good, I think. Oh wow, these screws are kind of tight. There's one loosened. And there's the other loosened. There's one. So that's basically complete rear side disassembly. <clears throat> you know which side is forward and which side is back because it's not actually the same shape. So this is the forward side, this is the rear side. side. And the easiest way to remember that is that this rear side notch or this rear side tab should fit nicely into into the rear side letter right here. And if you try to put it back in this way, you'll have a gap. See that? So that's pretty easy. So that is the complete disassembly of the rear sight.